In this short video, we will discuss classroom assessment technique number seven, the muddiest point. It is possibly one of the easiest classroom technique to use and can be very effective. Let's carry on to see if this technique will work for you. The muddiest point supports several teaching goals. It helps our learners improve their skills with paying attention, their ability to concentrate, improve their listening skills, develop appropriate study skills, strategies, and habits. It also helps the learner learn the terms and facts of the subject, as well as concepts and theories. What is the muddiest point? Well, simply, we are asking our learners to let us know what is unclear for them. The muddiest point, it's versatile and useful. It can be used at the end of a topic, lesson, or workshop and can be used for any size of group or learning level. And what's particularly relevant for us today is that it can be adapted for online learning environments. Something to be aware of when considering the muddiest point is that if your lessons require your learners to combine, arrange, or evaluate information, it might be less effective for you. Also, as with any technique, if you overuse the muddiest point, you may create learner fatigue and devalue the process. Why might you consider using the muddiest point? Well, it is quick and easy and relatively low preparation, but it is also a safe way for your learners to ask questions and provides instant feedback to you as the instructor, which enables you to be nimble and responsive to your classroom. It also encourages our learners to pay attention and self-assessment. How might you make this technique work for you? Well, I would keep it simple. Collect the responses and look for common muddy points, areas, or threads so that you can approach them in an organized fashion. I would also encourage you to combine it or balance it with other questions such as what feels strong or what are two things I already know that were reinforced in this lesson. This ensures that our learners are focusing on things that they feel comfortable and confident with, as well as the things that may have been challenging for them. And keep the momentum. Use the feedback as a tool to build upon your teaching and your learner's experience. Take action. Leave time at the end of the lesson to review the muddy points with the class. I would encourage you to ask the class to answer or provide their own thoughts to clear up the muddy bits with your support as needed. If you come across tougher questions that might require a little bit more research, I would set them aside but commit to responding to it in a reasonable time frame, for example, the next class, and encourage your learners to contact you if something remains muddy. Appreciate and celebrate. This classroom assessment technique is great for supporting self-assessment, team learning, and helps you as the instructor to ensure that your students are really taking away the materials that you hope they were learning.